All right, uh, same TP sweep test, only using the celerity now. So here's a zoomed in on the dark blue wire, the TP sensor. We have the back probe. We have the lead on it. So this happens to be the red lead of the celerity scope. I've got the ground of the scope just on a good ground. Again, if I had a noisy pattern, I could select the actual sensor ground. Now, I've got a little problem here with some of the lighting, so I'm going to turn some of it off. Okay, so Alright, that's a little bit better. Let me kind of zoom in on here just a touch. Now, I've got this just in the opening page, the opening menus here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the scope, but I want to show you what the component test looks like and why I prefer not to use it when doing a potentiometer sweep test. So, I'm going to go down, select the component test, and if I go down, here's a throttle position sensor. So we'll look at that. And if you take a look at this, I still have to select the voltage and the time frame. And the viewable image that I have of the scope has been reduced by, well, I don't know, a quarter or so maybe. So I don't have such a big picture to look at. I also have to freeze this. So I'm not going to use this. I'm going to exit and go back to the scope page. Okay, 600 millivolts probably not going to be enough. It, it's close. Uh, 600 millivolts with this scale will give me from 0 to 6 volts, so that actually might be okay. I could go to, to uh, 1 volt and give me 10. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, though. Let's just go ahead and increase it. We're going to go 1 volt per division, if it'll let me. There we go. So I've got 1 volt per division. I'm at 500 milliseconds per division. I'm going to go ahead and slow that, or actually speed that up a little bit. We're going to go to 100 milliseconds per division like the Fluke did, so we can kind of compare apples to apples here. Now, I'm going to have to stroke this throttle, and as soon as I'm done, I'm going to have to hit this freeze button right there. Because again, this is not a one-shot as the Fluke is. So, the key is already on. So I'm going to go ahead, stroke the throttle, and again, I'll hit this freeze button right there. Okay, I've got it frozen. Now, as you know, with the celerity, I've got this little area right here telling me that it's captured 25 frames. So I'm going to go ahead and just move my left arrow until it shows me those. Unfortunately, this thing is... Uh, not being very cooperative. All right, so much for using the celerity to help you. All right, let's try this again. Boy, it just jumped right over top of that. So I've got it in there, but not a very good one. So if you run into this problem, we'll go ahead and try it again. I'm going to change this, and let's go maybe 200 milliseconds per division. All right, it'll give us twice the uh, amount of space here, if you will, so let me open and close it. Hit the freeze button. Now, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna hit the arrows, and there we have it. Wide open and closed. We also have a bounce there. Now, unfortunately, this little frame here telling us where we are has kind of obscured that a little bit. So, let me show you what you can do with this scope to get it maybe a little bit better for you. I'm going to go back to live scope, and what I want to do is move my zero line. Okay, so I'm going to move the down arrow, down arrow, now I'm going to hit a left arrow, and I'll bring that zero line somewhere up to about here. Now I need to make sure that I still have at least five volts remaining between my zero line and the top of my scale here. So let's try it and see what happens. Open. Close, hit the freeze button. All right, let's go back and take a look to see what we have. There we go. Now again, 
It's a little more compacted, a little more compressed because I have it at 200 milliseconds per division rather than the 100 milliseconds that I did previously or with the fluke. So that just depends on uh, how quickly you can get this thing to capture. All right, that's all I have for this particular one.